Now, all right, we'll definitely not do any more today after we do chapter 35. God told Jacob to take his plunder and new slaves to Bethel. So Jacob collected all the alien gods and burnt them, told everyone to change his clothes. Everyone feared the genocide freaks, for some reason unknown to your humble narrator. In Bethel they built an altar, called the place the God of Bethel. That's where Jacob had talked to God twenty odd years earlier. Deborah died, was buried. Who was Deborah? Jacob was reminded by God to call himself Israel. He didn't catch it the last time, but was too concerned about not eating hip meat. And God also reminded Jacob that he was God Almighty. And like so often, and it will be repeated every few chapters until God goes away, be fertile, make a great army. And Rachel was dying, giving birth to the twelfth son, her second. Verse 17, have no fear, for it is another boy for you. Reuben fucked Bilhah one of Jacob's concubines, and Israel found out, and the fly landed on a sheep ship. Isaac died, and Esau and Jacob buried him. Eat me, this way, the end. That was Jim, Jim Morrison. Um, boy, I really don't remember who Deborah was. Anyway, so there's Jacob building a few more altars and talking to God, the God Almighty. And of course, it didn't matter that Rachel died because she had a son, and that's more important than being alive. A lot of women died in childbirth up until very recently, actually. Um, and part of it recently was because doctors didn't think it was a good idea to, to wash their hands. Even that was only figured out 200 years ago. Maybe not even. We are so slow. That's another thing about Christianity that's actually behind Islam. Islam was probably better at developing the sciences than Christianity. Christianity, and back then it was sod no, sodomy. No, um, what was it? Israelitism, Hebrewism, uh, Judaism. They we're always figuring if you died, well, it was because God want you to, wanted you to die. And there was no way they were ever going to invest anything in learning any kind of medicine, learning any kind of anything about anything, because everything was taken care of by God, and the only thing they had to worry about was killing people and plundering. So, there. A couple extra points for Islam on that one. Um... But Islam's not a very good religion either. It's like this one, based on hatred and murder and genocide. Are there any religions that aren't based on hatred, genocide, and all that kind of stuff? Um, maybe Buddhism, but I don't know if you can call that a religion. I mean, they, their leaders are still part of the elite. The, most of the people go around starving to death, so I, I mean, you can say something against all religions, even if you think Buddhism is nice. There's no, I mean, the biggest problem with religion is it's, it's fantasy, and I think we have to get away from fantasy. Anyhow, Isaac is dead now, and so we'll leave it at that. We'll mourn him a little bit. He wasn't much of a guy, but... That was it. Okay. Have a nice day.